Wait For Me is a love story and it's a life story. It's a story about angels and soulmates. Uh, the role of angels in this is to put half souls together on earth. I and mean, if the half souls on earth find each other, they become one. And when they become one, the, uh, the angels can become one again. What was hard about this is bringing a story to life with no actual words in terms of the, the forefront of this. It's not just a story of planet Earth, it, it, it brings so many different elements and it's how do we get this story to come alive and really, really speak and say something without it just feeling like dancing for the sake of it. Normally, roles like this within a show, within a musical, whatever it is, it was always an actress or a singer and that part will never be shown through movement. Um, a lot of the movement within this is quite naturalistic, pedestrian almost. It's not like we just burst into huge dance breaks. It comes from a place within that makes sense. It was really important to me that certain elements of the story came across very strong. If the story didn't make sense, you're not going to follow. So after some thought, I wrote a novella, a small story specifically to give to Ainsley, which uh, had a sort of mifluent language that, that flowed and stopped and jarred in places to really sort of show the tempo of the music, of the piece. There's depth, there's comedy, but the, the, the frame of the story, it's sensitive and we have to tell it with like heart and with passion. That was for me, again, another thing where I had to really, really get into it and know how I want it to be filmed and how it needs to be seen and again, being sensitive to that. My role in all this is to basically tell the story verbally of what's going on in Jack's mind. Um, I do his and then Eloise does Emma's. And um, a lot of, they're mostly portraying their emotions and the story through dance and sometimes when it's just too much to kind of convey just with physical movement, we tell the story with our voices. It's hard to breathe, but I don't think it's air that will relieve me. There's one particular moment in this, um, in this storyline which is very devastating. It's a piece with all of the girls and we really go through it all together but also individually. We are portraying what we're feeling in completely different ways and at the same time we are completely one person. And then when we go into that movement, whatever it may be, it's kind of just an extension of our emotions um, and it doesn't stray away from who we are um, as the characters too much. The life and death element which hits our young couple um, rocks their entire world but they, they learn to live again, they learn to dance through life, find their tempo, their rhythm and that's really what I wanted to show in this, uh, the beauty of true love and that true love can conquer anything even death. We've made these two worlds come together, live theatre and film, and put it in a way where you get both aspects. You feel like you're watching a live show, but you're all watching it through a camera, which feels completely cohesive. I think you should watch Wait For Me because it will just move you. It will make you connect to things in your life and in their lives and it will just take you on a complete journey.